Hello and welcome everybody to an extremely serious video from Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit. So, the previous video, which we'll link um, in an annotation and in the description, was about Shane Dawson's coming out as bisexual. Shane Dawson's and video, kind of, I'm bisexual. And we kind of covered our thoughts about it. Just just first impressions, that sort of thing. This um, was my... This was also before I myself personally watched the video. I have now watched it three times. And Glitchy and I sat down together. And just watched it together watched right it. before we started recording. And we wanted to, we took some notes because we wanted to actually bring some things to it, to the viewer's attention that we found disturbing, problematic. Well, exactly. disturbing, problematic. You know, the, uh, there are some things that I think are wrong with the way that he has gone about this. Has gone about this, and his his own arguments thereof in this journey of his. And, and before I go too deep into that. Everybody's got their own journey. We all struggle with our own shit, you know. It's a deeply personal thing, but it happens. But there, there, there's just there's there are some problems with the video itself and the things that he said. First off, as a whole, um, not just yeah, as a whole, and just kind of things that stuck out to us. First off, that was a really weird thing in the background of his video, and we're not sure what it was. We, we think it's probably his chair. I, we, it's up Yeah, now. we took a screenshot. What the um, fuck is this strange little thing behind him? I would have thought that it was his chair. I kept but normally, if you see... But if you see the, if you would see the back of his chair, you would see it more than, than just a bump there. It would be, like, across the back. Mm -hmm. Granted, depending somehow. on what type of chair it is... Yeah. can factor in, but at the same time, when we very first watched this video together, yesterday, it, we have, we together have watched the video twice together. I watched yes. it once by myself. Now, when you first watch it, it kind of looks like there's like a swash of blonde hair behind him. And that's what I assume. I don't know what it is, maybe, it, it probably is the chair, it probably is the chair, but when you look at it, like I'm re-showing it now, it's kind of weird. Also, what is and that? I, I was, ass teddy bear shirt. And I wasn't sure if it was something blonde, if it was like the chair, or if it was like a dust bunny of some kind. Like that's a big ass dust bunny. Yeah, I was like, I'm not sure what this is, but that was just something because we're stream of consciousness people. Um, <laughs> we, we thought just we kind of ran with it. Now, the first thing on my notes list here that I saw that was wrong with his argument was that he, he says multiple times in the video that he, he wished that he was gay. Because it would be easier. Because it would be easier. Excuse and, me? I have a problem with that because being gay or lesbian, in my opinion, and, and I'm and we are not leaving anybody out when we don't specifically mention every other sexuality yes. or orientation. And, and I am friends with many bisexual people. Bisexuality does exist. Bisexual erasure does exist. Um, but We're personally, make a video I about think bisexual erasure in video games eventually. Personally, I, I think that it would be easier to be bisexual for one reason. If you were to fall in love with somebody of the opposite sex, it would seem normal. You wouldn't exactly. have to hide it. You wouldn't have to hide it. You wouldn't have to explain it. Nobody would really give you shit. Now, don't get me wrong. The bisexual community does suffer the same issues and problems that the gay community does. The and it does come the... from... Occasionally, it does come from the gay community itself. And that's another part of yes. my erasure, but that's a whole different video. So we, we are just letting and you guys know, we understand what's going on, we see it. That's why we make these videos, because we see the shit that goes on, and we see people not fucking talking about it. And I and we care about we the care. bisexual community, we do. We care about but the homosexual community, we care about the lesbians, we care about 
everybody. People need equal rights, okay? But we, this, this, I see this as a problem because you see, being gay is not easier. I get that he grew up in a conservative Christian household, and that's a hard thing. I lived in a, I live in a conservative Christian area. I grew Thank up. God my parents. Go ahead. Sorry. Thank God my parents aren't religious and are open minded because otherwise. Uh, things would have gone way wrong. <laughs> and me personally, I grew up in the house in a house with a fucking psychotic, racist, homophobic, Jehovah's Witness grandmother. And when I thought that I was bisexual, and because I liked girls, I, do, I still do like girls. I just don't like having sex with girls. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be classified as, but whatever. It's more along the lines of I can see the beauty in any gender. But. When I thought I was into girls as well, my grandmother beat the shit out of me with a cane. Okay? Beat the shit out of me with her fucking cane. Because I thought that it was okay to like girls. And it is. Being a girl, it is okay to like girls. It is. Liking the same sex is fine. It's good. It's good. It's allowed. It's, it's, it's not something that people need to fucking give you shit for. But that's, that's the thing. People do give you shit for this. And it happens, and it's not okay. But sitting here watching this video, like I said, we watched this, we, I watched this video three times, twice with my, my cohort here. And one of the things that he kept saying, he did keep saying, as Phoenix pointed out, he kept saying that he wished he was just gay or straight because it was easier. No, being a straight and white male is the easiest fucking thing in the universe. Especially in America. Being and to a degree, being a straight white female is easier. Being gay is not easier. easier. Being gay no. is not easier. And I and if you think being gay or a le being a lesbian is easy Or transgender. Tell that or transgender. Tell that to all the people who or killed themselves, were kicked out of their home when they came out, who were beaten live on the streets. Who were beaten to a bloody pulp. By family members, by people who used to be their friends, by classmates, by even a other adults that should be yeah. fucking looking out for them. So, don't tell me that being gay is easier. And as a supporter of, because... of gay rights and, you know, the LGBT community at large, don't fucking sit here and tell me that it's easier to be gay. I know no. shit's not easy. Because, frankly... I was the one, I had friends who got kicked out of their house. I was the one who helped them pay for their lunches. I used some of my own lunch money to pay for their lunches. Yeah. You know, it, there was, you know, it was, we didn't have much, so... But what you did have, you in, gave. Or, right, and taking them in for long periods of time was not an option for us. But what help I could give, I gave. Exactly. Because we have been, for, for many years, a low-income family. That's just how it is. But you don't turn somebody away who's in need. You give them what you can. And that is a basic and... human capability that so many people just shit on and fucking bury and, 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 and beat down that if, if if people were different if people just did you know what phoenix did what his family did even though they didn't have the fucking money if the fucking people at the tops of the food chains and whatnot had who have the fucking money did this kind of thing and used their actual hearts the world would be a fucking better place Stop worrying about who sticks their dick in who, and who fucking munches pussy or doesn't. It's not your fucking business. It doesn't affect you in any way, shape, or form. So back the fuck up. With your self-righteous bullshit. Another thing he mentioned hmm. that bothered me you was mean, that like he... the entire video? Well, one of the things that bothered me was that he... He said that he wished that he was gay. Or, you know, so that he would know who he was. Oh, now, my God. Now, let me tell you something. And I mentioned this in the past video. Growing up, 
I didn't know exactly who I was. I actually believed for a short stint of about a year that I was bisexual. But as soon as I discovered that that was not the case, after some soul searching and a relationship that should not have happened in the first place, but I was too blind to see the truth. Um, Maybe too afraid. Too afraid. Yeah, I was afraid of what my family would think because while I knew that my family was supportive of, you know, gays and lesbians and that sort of thing, being it's supportive a story of it entirely when it's your when you're 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 the subject yourself and you're worried about your parents. Or right, and whatnot. It, it's one thing to support other people's children mm. and other people living their lives, but when it's your kid who says, "Mom and Dad, I'm gay." The reactions can be totally different. They drastically, they can be drastically fucking different. But the thing is, they shouldn't be drastically different. You should accept your fucking kids. And look at me. And okay, you guys can see me. You see me. You've seen me since the day one of our silly ass videos beginning. I am white. I am damn near ghostly white. And I'm an American female. I struggled. Personally, I struggled with my identity. And to a degree, I still struggle with my identity. And it doesn't have to do with sexuality. It doesn't have to do with anything like that. But what I'm, the reason I'm bringing this up and the point I'm making is nobody really knows who they are at a young age or even at 20 or 28 or, you know, in their 30s. It takes a, some people never know who they truly are. And if they do, and they don't, some people don't accept that they, who they truly are. And that's a problem. And honestly, when I came out, it wasn't like I flipped a switch and instantly knew who I was. No, it doesn't work like that. The self-awareness that I have of myself now came from years of soul searching. And finding people like me that I could be myself around and just letting myself be free. Exactly. Letting yourself be yourself. So saying, oh, I'm gay or, oh, I'm a lesbian or, oh, I'm transgender. That doesn't automatically go, boop, I know who I am now. Exactly. But that's Especially not how that works. Especially if you're trans. Um, and speaking of transgender and this is sort of a tangent thing one of the things that he one of the things that he mentioned in the video was that um All the he wears dress he wears dresses and does makeup and he said that you know people called him gay for that i'm sorry but wearing dresses and wearing makeup does not make you gay or bi in fact there are straight men there are plenty of straight men who dress up in women's clothing. Some of their women like that. Some of their women don't know. Um, and some of them are single dudes. But the, the fact of the some... matter is, is, who cares? So what if a guy yeah. wears a dress? Guys used to wear dresses all the times in medieval era and Roman culture and what the fuck? They were just called togas back then and, or pre tunics, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking know. I'm rambling right now. But the, yeah. and, and depending on the argument, you could say that a kilt is kind of like a dress. Just saying. Yeah. <clears throat> don't say that to an actual fucking Scotsman. No. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> and, and sorry, all the Scottish guys out there. Sorry I'm to not... the Scottish men, the Irishmen, whoever the fuck wears kilts. Sorry. We're, hey, we're, we're, we're trying to make a point. Please continue I apologize for... to not have pants on or underpants. Please continue to go commando wearing said <laughs> kilts because glitchy bitch will be quite pleased with this. Let me Especially see your hairy ass thighs. Over. Oh lord, please bend over. Let me see your hairy ass thighs. I don't care if you're hairy. Your ass hell's hairy. Glitchy will gladly I'll go you. Feel free <laughs> to, you know, like, tweet us pictures of your, you know, lack of underwear. I'm not actually That's asking for this. That's a whole other topic. That's a whole other topic um, and I'm not actually anyway. asking for this. I'm just saying I accept men in skirts. Wholeheartedly. And, any and with all the cockles in my vagina, if for your ears have cockles, I this spiraled badly. Back on topic, what? Okay, so um, <laughs> the third thing, the, the the third thing on my list was that you know, people don't always know for sure 
whether they're gay or lesbian or whatever right away. It takes some time. people take some some people take some time to become comfortable with that and when they do come out that doesn't automatically mean they're confident about it. That doesn't automatically mean that they're confident in their own skin and that they're happy being that way just yet. It's a process. Yes, there are it people takes who time. do become okay with this. You know, and and feel relief and then they they feel like they know who they are but it's not that common i am much happier now than i was when i came out mm -hmm. but it took me some time to reach to that work, point you know to reach that point to work with work through everything and to realize that this is okay this is me being my best version of myself exactly and you know, it's like 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 Phoenix said, it's not a fucking light switch. It's not a fucking turn of a lock. There's no magical fucking rainbows and kittens showers and that didn't sound right. And you know, glare bombs that go off. It, it's it takes time for a lot of people. And honestly, you know, this leads me to another point. Mm. Multiple times in the video. He mentioned his Christian family and his Christian upbringing. And blamed things on them. And, and yeah, he, maybe not out loud, you know, explicitly, but the implication was there. No, and, and early on when he was talking about how he told his Christian, or whatever it was, super right. religious family, he mentions that they shut it down. They said, no, that's not okay, because God will not accept you, you go to hell, blah, blah, blah. He said and, that, and, and he specifically blamed them for a large part of his problems. And here's the thing. That's not fair. Because... Yes. Okay, well, that, 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 that is, it's not fair in this case because of this situation, but there are instances where families do do this. Yes, I, I agree. But what I'm saying is, in this case he should not be blaming them for a large majority of his issues because he has stated himself that he didn't want to face it. Exactly. He stated in this video that he did not want to face it, that he did not want to deal with it. And, and honestly, you know, I'm sorry to tell you this, Shane, but it could have been so much worse for you. I'm not sorry to tell him. Shane Dawson... He Shit could have gone a lot different for you and a lot worse for you. So at this because, point in time, I want to tell you, shut the fuck up. Because if your family had been any different, they could have knocked you on your ass and left you in the street. You could have been a five-year-old getting your ass beat with a cane. Like I was a teenager getting my ass beat with my grandmother's fucking cane. So you, excuse me while I sit here and tell you, shut the fuck up. And, and you know, on one hand, I... I I sympathize. I do. I do too, because to a degree. But this just I was seems surrounded. so fake. And, you know, I, I sympathize because my parents were supportive. But that was about it. Up until recently. Um, and before I graduated, I was surrounded by people who, if I had come out to them, you would, would have been have, strung up. They would have hated me for a stupid reason they would have ostracized me they would have strung me up and, and that would have been it i came out after i graduated and i was surprised at the majority at, at the support that i got from some of the people that i went to school with and um some of them were supportive others were just as venomous as i assumed they would be mm -hmm. um but I didn't come out to the rest of to the rest of my extended family beyond my parents until about a year ago because I didn't want to cause the family drama because I knew that they wouldn't approve and it wasn't because I was ashamed because I'm not ashamed I'm not ashamed of who I am or that part of me you know I'm not ashamed of that at all. But the fact you of the matter was... You shouldn't have to be. And, but the fact of the matter was that I knew that in some circles of our family it would cause problems. And I, I, I didn't want to deal with that. I was pleasantly surprised that 
more of our family was okay with it than I thought. Mm. Um, the person that I no, thought would have been the most... Well, she's still not okay with it. She'll never be okay with it, um, I don't think. But it's because she thinks it's me slighting her because I can. And oh, my lord, she can, your grandmama. And she can think that if she fight. wants, but... We gonna fight. She can... She can think that if she wants, but, you know. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to fly down to Texas, or drive, probably fly, whatever, I don't even know. This won't actually happen. But I'll drive down to Texas and fucking come to your front door, and if your grandma, an uh, like, if whoever answers the door, I'm going to wait till I find out that it's your grandma, and then you're just going to hear, hi -ya! And then you're going to see Glitchy go fly through the fucking air in a fucking typical, you know, ninja kick pose, and your grandma's going to go through a wall. And, and honestly, there, there's... In another in another video, um, I will talk about what happened with her and we will talk about issues. family familial issues and whatnot, personal issues. Um, that that's probably gonna be a whole series. Yeah, but, it's gonna have its own um, playlist and whatever. T but to be entirely honest, you know, um, it was just you know he shouldn't blame his family because yes, I sympathize. There, I was surrounded by religious people who would have hated me had they known but his family it could have been so much work for him it could have it needs, could have and he needs to look at that objectively and be thankful for that because he would not be the most one of the more popular youtubers on youtube if his parents had beat the shit out of him when they knew that he was bisexual if he and I find it dis and I find it disrespectful that he a blamed his family. B, B says he's or the be gay. Yeah, it's oh my god. You know, C thinks that all of us that come out as gay are confident in our skin and immediately know who we are. Yeah, if you if That's you if you ask Phoenix, he he can verify. We want like we said like like we said we watched this video one more time before we actually started recording this this. And he could see my reactions at that point in time because we were on Skype together. I literally got so physically fucking done with Shane Dawson and his shit that I literally almost passed out because I was suddenly so exhausted and overwhelmed by his sheer fucking bullshit. Oh, and another thing. You are not Caitlyn fucking Jenner. No. Shut the fuck up. Shut Caitlyn the fuck Jenner, up. Jenner, for one thing, Caitlyn Jenner is, has more fucking talent in her pinky toe than you'll ever have. And more money because, than you'll ever have. Because, I don't know, I don't know, before she was Caitlyn Jenner, she actually, oh, I don't know, won gold medals? Yeah, and wasn't, was not wasn't, just, wasn't, he... wasn't just famous on the freaking internet, really? Does he even go I mean, to conventions or anything? Like, I mean... I've never really... Who, uh, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson? I have no idea. I've never heard of him going to one, but I don't really pay attention to him. Exactly, I don't, I don't pay attention to him enough. The only reason he really drew our ire... ...was because... ...we were sitting there he talking joined... one day. Go ahead. <laughs> he joined the coming out video bandwagon. I, I honestly, exactly. I feel like that is the exact thing that happened. Also, in case people are wondering, I'm wearing a blanket because the air conditioner is cranked up and I'm fucking cold. And I frankly, agree he, that he is literally just jumping on this bandwagon that has hit YouTube. And honestly, like, about a week before that video came out, we were sitting here talking and he came up in the conversation. Somehow. And... And we were brainstorming ideas for videos, and I made the comment that we, we ought to do a video about Shane Dawson because he was gay. Exactly. I was sure he was gay because when you open, when he opens his mouth, you instantly know that, for one thing, he talks about sucking dick way too much to be straight. Oh my god, and, he constantly talks um, about sucking dick. You know, th there's just so many things that... <laughs> there's, 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 there's millions of different minute factors and moves he makes and things he says and ways he says them and things he does and, and bodily, like, twitches and whatnot or anything. We're not just sitting here, you know, trying to talk shit about this guy because we don't like him or because we're hating on homosexuals. No, we're not! <laughs> Bitch, we see the signs!
And the and the sign I saw there. the sign. Whatever the and, fuck, and, bitch. We sell the signs. And 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 honestly, <laughs> Glitchy just flat out dislikes him. But honestly, Whoa! he has given he me cause to. He annoys me, but I don't flat out dislike him. I think that my dislike extends to I really don't give a fuck about him unless I'm actually physically having to deal with like visually, physically, auditorially having to deal with him in some way. And, and see, and that's my thing. I'm indifferent towards him, but I appreciate that he has occasionally done some good for people. Yeah, as far and as occasionally he's his put videos, out some funny shit, but his his videos have brightened people's day, and I can appreciate. Okay, that. I can I From, can too. I can too. Don't get me wrong, I, I sound like a bitch. I'm a bitch, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a bitch. But I can sound, I, I sound like I'm coming across as being very, very vicious and violent towards this person. But uh, honestly, like I said, if I don't really think about it, if I don't really, you know, if I'm not actively, you know, involving myself in this guy's rigmarole and hullabaloo and whatnot, I don't care. And yes, and, and he has honestly, done good. He has done good, and he's brightened some people's days and whatnot. But this video here is a disservice. A, to bisexuals, to homosexuals, to lesbians, to transgenders, to any fucking buddy out there who is confused about their lives. This is not an It Gets Better video. This is a self-wallowing video that seems like he's doing nothing more. To us, it seems like he's doing nothing more than jumping on the bandwagon for the fame and recognition and, and, and views and whatnot that comes from making a video like this. And not once during the video did he assure people that things would be okay in no. on, in their own personal journey. And not Joey once... Graceffa, Joey Graceffa, for all the shit that I give him. Ugh. Connor Ferranta, who is awesome. Connor and is good, I like him. The other YouTubers that have come out you recently know, and, and all Oakley. made a point. They've all made a point to tell the viewers that watch it that yes, there they will go through some of the same. They, struggles, there's even there was that a, they will, uh, Go ahead, sorry. Um. That they will come out better on the end of it. But Shane Dawson didn't say any of that. No, he, he just spewed all on, on. He just spewed over and over again the confusion, the fucking uncertainty, the fucking that it would be better to be gay or straight. And I, honestly, holy shit, it, it, was, it was insulting. It was. It, it was it insulting, was. honestly. And I feel like uh, I feel like he was insulting the intelligence of every LGBT person watching his channel. To a degree, um, he was even insulting the intelligence of straight people. And, and you know, one final topic on my note list. Mm. During his explanation of his denial, he said that he didn't want to be referred to as Shane Dawson, <gasps> the bisexual guy. I'm sorry, bitch. I'm sorry. Your name is Shane Dawson. Not, You're not fucking Bill, Bill Nye. Nye, the science guy. Nobody's gonna fucking sit there and call you Shane Dawson, the bisexual guy. Okay? Nobody fucking. You're not fucking <gasps> Bill Nye. Get over Breeze yourself, glitchy. Barry. Ooh, so You're not fucking Bill Nye. You're not fucking Caitlyn Jenner. You'll never be on that level. Although I still say Caitlyn Jenner only got as much acceptance as she did because she has money, because she was a Kardashian, because of other factors. You know, and, and honestly, normally I would be indifferent to the whole Kardashian clan and the newest Kardashian sister that is Caitlyn Jenner. Um, but Bruce Jenner, who is now Caitlyn Jenner, has done a lot of humanitarian work yeah. and charity work. So I, you know, I, I have to give credit where credit is I agree, due. I agree. Give credit where uh, credit's due. But what the fuck exactly has Shane Dawson done in this video? See, yeah, that's my thing. You know, I... All I see was him blubbering at the mouth and making and his unloading. ass foundation run. Bitch, you need some powder, some powder, and, and unloading on Sentence. everybody about his own journey without giving any ray of hope to the people that may be watching it. Going, well, what about me? Yeah, and he claims in this video that he wants to give hope to young people, the people who watch him and stuff. I'm sorry, how are you giving hope? I literally became downtrodden, honestly, watching this video. I literally well, and, began and to... Me... Ow, I just bit my own fucking finger. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Well, and let me... Let, let Ouch! Me be... Sorry. It hurt. Jesus fuck. <laughs> it hurt! Jesus fuck. I was trying well, to touch me... my face, damn it. And then I bit my... Okay. 
Oh let me God. just let, let me just direct this this statement at Shane for a moment because mm. you cannot inspire hope in other people until you have hope for yourself. And I'm sorry, but watching this that, video, all that video, all that video showed me was that Shane Dawson is yes, he's becoming closer to accepting himself, but he's still in the dark. He still hates himself, it's obvious. He's he, still just he's still, disgusted by himself. And until he gets over that, until he works through that, and it's not gonna happen overnight, and it's it not gonna be time. easy. It does take These time things for take things time. to get better. Which, that's a whole different video that we will do. And, and I wanna do that, I wanna do that video soon, too. Yes. Because okay. there are tons of stories that I can tell, and there is an important thing. Um, but honestly, you know, you can't give what you don't have. That's true. And, and, and Shane, he seems like he's, it's too early in the healing process. And in and the he growth. he really shouldn't have made this video, I don't think. I don't think he should have made it yet, to be honest. If he made one at all, I think maybe in a couple of months when he was more comfortable with himself. Or even a couple of years down the road, when he was... He could have easily come out on Twitter and just left it at that. And then when he was more comfortable with himself, given you an know, actual video, or I no, and... my, honestly, my, my belief right on this subject is he shouldn't have said anything because this if he said something on Twitter, then people would harass him for an explanation and he would cave to it like he does. And he shouldn't have made this video because this video does nothing but be a disservice and a fucking depressionary thing to focus on of how miserable it can be. And at the but same on time, one hand, it's not nearly as bad as he makes it sound out what his experience was. His experience was nowhere near as bad as what it could be. And what other people suffered. I, I, and honestly, I just my, fucking hate this video. I'm, I'm, and, and, I, and I'll be entirely honest, my experience was not nearly as bad as it could have been too. Um... There are good people out but, there. It's just too few and far between. I'm so fucking done. I'm, my head is like down, dude. I'm so fucking. So you know, uh, honestly, I think that you know, if, if it was a stunt, or maybe he's just not ready to, and he did this prematurely, and that's mm -hmm. why it doesn't seem genuine. You know, I don't know. It does seem but, a type for premature things. But that's that's our thoughts on the matter, and um. We'll have more content on this topic, not on Shane himself, but on Although, the, the issues Although, if he comes out with more things, it. perhaps, in regards to this, perhaps we will have more. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to just go on the record and say that he said in his video that this was the only time he would be speaking on this topic oh, in a video. I don't believe it. So, I don't believe it. if he goes into other... Bitch, we're like, gonna read you! You know, uh, he's free to say what he wants, but Granted. if he does another like this, where he insults all the communities that he could possibly insult, maybe not trying to, but, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I, I just... I just, just... Shane Dawson, I'm not please. No just please. Get your shit I'm together. not normally one... Yeah, get your shit together. I mean, I'm not normally one for pity, but this kind of made me pity you. I have uh, lost all pity for him. Any, any kind of sympathy that I could have possibly had, I really just... At this point in time, I am so fucking frustrated and disgusted by what he has done. And what implications can come from this. That if I met him today... Well, it is technically today, it's 5 in the morning, whatever. But if I met him on the street, I would punch him in the face. And, and, you know... Because this has just been a pile... A 14-minute and 35-second pile of disrespect. And fucking self-loathing. Loathing. And, and... And I know that we all like to get caught up in our own... I know we like to get caught up in our own misery and we think that it's all about us. But it's, it's not. not. 
Oh, and we you, said that at comes, the exact same time. And it, there comes a moment where we have to objectively look at things and go, you know what? Yeah. This isn't just about me. I've had incidences like that. And it could be so like much that. worse. Exactly. I broke down crying one time. Perfect perfect example. I broke down crying one time because I had to watch, in school, I had to watch this video of this girl who had been so fucking, like, torn apart by an accident that she had been. She, she went from being this perfectly beautiful young girl to looking worse than the fucking dude from uh, Silence of the Lambs who had his face cut off and, like, partially eaten. Like, wow. she was completely fucking just destroyed. And I sat there in the fucking auditorium watching this shit, crying because it hit me so hard that this bitch had its. Well, she's not a bitch. I don't know. I don't know if she's actually personality wise. I don't. I just call women bitches sometimes and men bitches. I don't fucking care. I generalize. But what I'm saying is, I sat there sobbing hysterically to the point that I had to be removed and taken to the, the therapist's office. You know, the school therapy dude, whatever the fuck, counselor, guidance counselor. Ha ha! I knew the word. Because I was crying because I realized. Yeah, I get beat the fuck up, and I get people who screw with me, and I get people who, you know, try to fucking injure me, but I had it nowhere near as bad as her. I was born ugly, so that's not really the fucking reason that I say I had it easier than her. I'm just being facetious at this point. But I did have it so much easier than her. My life was considerably a cakewalk compared to what she went through. And that was um, one of those moments you know. where, where I realized it wasn't all about me. I hope Shane Dawson gets to the point where he's comfortable in himself, and he realizes that it's not all about him. I mean, you know, I... because this could be this could be a learning experience, and he could help people with what he learns about himself, and he could help other people. I just think this was extremely this. premature. It, it was, and that's the thing. He can't help anybody now, but maybe down the road. He'll be able to. Um, but yeah, that's our thoughts on the matter. I want to get a It Gets Better video soon. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to do one about... Basically, it could be so much worse. <laughs> because I've got I've got a story. Uh, you know, all kinds of stories to tell yeah. related to that. And, and you know, I think it's something that, we, that needs to be talked about. It is. Um, so... As always, subscribe, please. <laughs> let us Comment know what you think. And let us, and let us know it. what you want to see. And you know. And if you have any thoughts on the matter, tell us. Give us your opinion. And if you're, and if you're a fan of Shane Dawson and you want to, you know, read us on being so mean to him, well, well we can't we'll stop read you. you back. But. But don't but expect we to have get away with it. And, and and we can we can actually cite our sources and and we show you. are unbiased by that glimmer that goes over celebrities. We we don't have fangirl fanboy glasses on. Exactly. Um, we're we're looking at this as objectively as we can. Okay, um, I agree. We are being as objective as possible. And yes, I will state right now that sometimes Lichi can get a little vicious. But you know what? Be she goes from zero to violent in 2.2 .2 seconds. No, it's zero to... She's like a fucking Harley. <laughs> it's zero to violent in like 0. .00 seconds, dude. You don't even fucking understand. My, wow. m that's called a switch being flipped. Like, bam, dude. A blink of an eye, a beat of a heart, a fucking flap of a fucking hummingbird's wings. I will go from zero to... Ah! But the reason... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. The reason that this so thoroughly pissed me off and the reason I come across as being so fucking hateful is because I have reached a point in in, in my dealing with this guy, dealing with any subject I talk about where I suddenly become very vicious or seemingly one-sided and not understanding or even belligerent is because I have become so fucking done with whatever that subject might be, that my only left, my only option left is sass, bitching, and sh completely fucking tearing something down. But I don't always get like that. But this, like I said, this video, this video here. What you trying to say, bitch? 
and, and I tried to present things in a calm way. And I tried. Um, I tried. I really, honestly, I'm sorry. It looks like I didn't try. It really looks like I didn't try. But I tried. I really did try. You can ask Phoenix. He knows. I have been trying. He can tell. He's actually done a pretty damn good job of that. This, yeah. Yeah, I actually um, did pretty well. I'm not streaming especially so much. compared. Especially especially compared to your reaction yesterday um and the, even the yeah. reaction i had today off camera honestly the react you guys haven't seen half the shit but that is because it would be inappropriate to say the things that i say when i'm in the heat of the moment because yeah. you know there's things there's things there's things that get said there's things that get said there's things that get you know thoughts that get said that shouldn't be said and i at least have the fucking common decency to not mostly not broadcast these things and I refuse. We, I refuse, though, to censor myself when it comes to talking about my, my bitch of a mother. Warning. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah. Excuse me. I hiccup. Um. Yeah. This and, video and has I, gone on to like forty-one minutes. Just saying. Oh god. Well, you'll you'll see me go glitchy mode in a couple of places. In a glitchy couple mode. Topics. It happens. It happens. I get violent. It does. It's um, it's it's because you've reached a certain point, and then there's just no fucking. Holding your tongue anymore. But okay, we're gonna cut it here. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. We pulled a Glozel this time around. Tell Doing... us what you wanna see. Alright. Yeah. Like, rate, comment, share the video if you think that we're making a good point. And if you if you have and... problems with what we said or you wanna share your opinions, comment below. Let us know. We'll we'll and I like I said, if you wanna be a little fucking Shane Dawson groupie and be a bitch, trust me, Glitchy will be a bitch right back. And or honestly, we'll you, we love honestly. you. And honestly, we love you guys. We thank you for we watching. Love and... We love you. We do. We do. And we want we want to have a community where we can discuss things and debate things. But you also need to understand that we're human too. Yeah. Shit gets heated. And, and it does. And shit happens. And so... also, I'd like to say, Glitchy didn't touch her hair for the most part throughout this video. <laughs> I did pretty good this time. Although just now I did just comb my hair because there was like a huge massive like bump. Um, All right. I'm well, a hot fucking mess. Bye guys. Bye guys.